into group. Okay. okay. Um, so one big thing I want to jump right into first is I want to clarify my position first. I want to make sure I do that with everybody. Uh, we were talking on the phone for a long time, and so I really want to clarify what I am. Okay, I'm an artist. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm an artist. Um, as well as I coach. That's what I do. I'm not a manager. I'm not an agent. I'm not a promoter. I'm not, you know, a lot of times people see me promoting them and things like that. That's only because I want to. And that's only because I believe in what you guys are doing and stuff. But that's not who I am by title. So, um, so I'm not those things. So as an artist, you know, I'm pushing my craft and I'm trying to help others push their craft as well. But you got to want to push your craft yourself. Um, from this past weekend, Whoever was on that flyer, if you know that you have five months to uh, get someone at a venue, five months you should at least be able to bring five people out, period. If you're not at that level yet, you either got to reconsider what it is that you're doing, reconsider how you're marketing yourself, reconsider how you're doing things, because I can't do it. I can't gain an audience for you. I can only do so much. So you got to gain your audience for yourself. I was at this show this past weekend. I was in Chicago. I just got back yesterday. Okay, I was in Chicago. It's up to me to get people at this show that I'm at. I should be promoting this show myself. I shouldn't just be waiting on these promoters to promote me. I should be promoting me. If I'm not promoting me, why am I even doing shows? What, do I not want people to come to Chicago and see me at the show? So whenever you're on something, because people be like, I ain't sharing that flyer. you know. I know I'm on it, but that ain't my job to promote me. Why is it not your job to promote yourself? I don't understand that. I never will understand it. I don't care what level of success you get at. It is your obligation to keep yourself booked. If people are not seeing you and not coming out and, and liking your craft, you won't continue to get booked. You'll only be booked for so long. Okay, so I want to make sure I put that out there because I see this all the time with people not pushing themselves. If you're not pushing you, I'm definitely not pushing you. So don't even ask me. Could you share this? What you sharing in the mind? This is a two-way street. We got to help each other out. People will call you out the blue asking you, can you share this? Can you do? Uh, what have you shared lately of what we're doing? Because I'm not a promoter. You're not hiring me to promote you or do this or do that. So it's a two-way street. I'm going to help you out, but you got to help us out too. Okay, now the other thing that's coming up, we got an all-female poetry night. Every third Saturday of the month, we have events. These events have been booked since last year, November. I've asked everybody that's on these shows, could they be on these shows? So it's not a surprise like, oh, I'm on a show. No, you've been knowing since last year. Okay, so it's up to you to get you out there to get an audience to come see you because I'm not going to do it. If they don't like your videos or whatever the case may be, they're just not going to come out. If you're not telling them about your shows, how would they even know about your shows? Okay, so the all female poetry review we got Andrea that's on there, Janet Jackson, Jasmine, Kiana, LA Madison, Lyric Bell, myself, as well as Ray. All of us are on this all female poetry show. And every single April, there will be a poetry show. Every single April. So um, hopefully everybody has put this in their calendar because this has been booked since last year. So when people tell me, oh my God, I forgot. I'm not going to keep your calendar for you. You got to write it down. Tell somebody that in California. Another thing. Another thing that I experienced this past weekend, and I want to make sure I bring this to the surface. Do not forget where you come from. I come from the hood of Chicago. I'm not going to ever not want to go to my own hood. Do not forget where you come from. Because some people live in the suburbs for so long to the point where they say, I can't go to the south side of Chicago. They shooting. They shooting everywhere. You can be in the suburbs and get shot. So don't forget where you come from because those are the people you really want to give back to. Everybody forgets where they come from and they don't give back to their own hood. Do not be one of those statistics and one of those people, okay? I will always give back to mine. You're going to always see me. You know, you just got to serve, have certain precautions because people are on some grimy stuff, but that's everywhere. In the industry, they on some grimy stuff. You can get shot at a show where, where it's 10,000 some people at. You can get shot and killed. Okay, so don't forget where you come from. 
because those are the people that helped you to get to that platform that you're on. I don't care how long you lived in the suburbs. It don't matter. You still from the hood, <laughs> okay? So don't forget that. So I wanted to make sure I pointed out those particular things and everything as we move forward. You have to develop you. It may take years to do. That's okay. It's okay. You got to work out, though. Working out. Who has 